So now that I have my highly accessible form, it's not, uh, it's accessible, but it's certainly not as good looking as the one made out of tables. I mean, uh, off the bat, that is. I mean, the reason I went through all this trouble was because I wanted to make sure that I did the form with best practices and you know sometimes when you do that you feel like you're putting in more work than it's worth until you kinda go down the road and you realize um, working with it's a lot easier but before I move on I want to actually preview my my form in in my different browsers so I'm gonna fire up Firefox there it is in Firefox uh, now I'm gonna check it out in Safari Safari, and there it is in Safari. Let me look. You know, there, it's already slightly different. I mean, look at this. You could tell that the the comments box is a bit um, smaller in Safari than in Firefox, and it's actually fixed in Firefox. Whereas in Safari, you could expand it. Um, not much we could do about that. And, but now let me just see what it looks like in Internet Explorer. This is uh, Internet Explorer 7. It should be here. Oh, well, look at that. I mean, if we compare it to at least even these other these other two, um, Safari. Actually, in Internet Explorer, it looks the most different, uh, mainly because we have no border over here and we also have if you look um, Internet Explorer also has this scroll bar that um, I don't really I mean I don't want there by default anyway it seems like you know if you start filling in text like like it right there you know that's that works I mean that's a that's necessary right I mean the same reason why that's there is is why Safari rather allows you to stretch it so you could really um, so the user has a little more flexibility there, but uh, I certainly don't want it by default like like Windows is doing. Uh, before, I, so this leads to my point that um, every different browser has its own built-in defaults, and it's kind of frustrating because if you don't, I mean, when you're styling something, you start seeing these little small differences between every browser, and and you need a a uh, strategy to combat that. Now, some of you have probably in the past used uh, universal, the universal reset, right? Where you use uh, something similar to asterisks, then and you put down for for padding zero and for margins zero, and then that's going to take out for any element it's going to zero out the padding and the mar uh, and the margin so certain things like when we look over here at back at Internet Explorer we have this white space up above the box and then some of these things have uh, a little bit of padding to the left and to the right that we don't see now th this declaration over here is going to eliminate a lot of that stuff so uh, actually why don't I just save it and we'll see you see now it brought everything over like so and if we refresh Internet Explorer it did the same thing and obviously it's no surprise it's gonna happen in Safari too now that is a it's an okay way it's a, this is called um, a global reset. Now that's an okay way of doing it, but to a certain extent, it, it's okay if you're a beginner. As you move on with your understanding of CSS, uh, it's just not going to be sufficient. There's a lot more things that you need to do, and one of the ways to actually do it is to go with um, what I like to do is go with something online. And there's a lot of people promoting their own global CSS resets and one of the ones I like to use is uh, Google's um, not Google uh, Yahoo's CSS reset now Yahoo has a place called YUI uh, Yahoo user interface and I'm gonna put YUI reset into Google over here 
and you'll see that um, probably at the time now I have two hits and I see YUI 3 so I'm going to go for that. The, the previous version was YUI 2 and YUI 3 has some new stuff to it um, and if you look down just from putting in YUI reset into Google you should see you should the top hits should bring you right to this page and if you start looking down the getting started page it basically is giving you a link for you to link to their reset to their CSS reset and that's exactly what I'm gonna do I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna go into my code my HTML code that is and I am going to put their style sheet in my um, in my in my page over here I'm going to attach it now now what did I do over here let's just take a quick look at the difference between my current style that's defining just a little very little CSS and the YUI the YUI is uh, if you could tell it's an absolute link that's pointing to a Yahoo address over here that hosts this CSS file and if I just copy that address and put that into my browser I'm going to see exactly what they're doing over here, and if uh, you know what, let me put it in a, in a in Safari so it, so the text wraps around the page. There we go. Um, this is essentially their reset, the Yahoo reset, the uh, YUI reset that they're doing. So as you could see over here, they're obviously doing a lot more than just resetting. Um, the margins and uh, or I'm sorry zeroing out the margins and the padding although they are doing it if you look I'm gonna if we look for margin right there you see that margin is set to zero and padding is set to zero so this value right over here um, is defined for all of these different um, all of these different tags over here you know we did it with an asterisk uh, or the we did it. I just showed it right now with an asterisk, and they're doing it more specifically to these tags, and they have some other things, you know, like like setting up a white background and everything, and and uh, collapsing borders on tables. That's actually what happened with our um, our field set function, right? And our and our form um, before before we actually implemented this. This is actually, if you could see. This is what it looked like with the borders there, and I think since I saved it, I just refreshed it, and that's what it looked like without it. So just a uh, just let me show you a quick before and after. I'm going to take out this link to the YUI, and I'm I, I'm not going to go through every browser and show you, but um, now there it is before, and and once I put the YUI reset. I'm going to save it. There it is after. Now I know you're probably thinking, well, now it looks even worse than before. So what's the point of doing that? Well, well, the point is, is that at the at the beginning of this video, I showed you that all three browsers showed the page a little bit different. And now instead of trying to mess around and and designing then previewing in the three browsers and trying to tweak something because it doesn't look good in Safari and then it kind of messes up in Firefox and it's not enough that you got to do some some hacks for IE and you you get in this it uh, it's like an uphill battle and, and it gets very confusing and tiring one of the easiest ways to kind of you don't totally put the kibosh on it but but to really uh, minimize those types of problems you want to use a reset and for this exercise we're not going to use the what I would say probably the most primitive and, and amateurish um, reset which is using the asterisk which mind you if you use it in the past that's way better than nothing but now that you understand that there's a better way to do it we're going to use YUI and that is definitely one of the better ways to do